this is um, once this expires, uh, the station with the minimum uh, back off timer will start to transmit. And so on. And that will continue until that transmission is over. And we will have another DIFS, another contention window, and another transmission. So this will be figure one. I mentioned there was an exception to the random backup time. The exception is this. If um, if a node selects a large back off time and which is possible if the back off times are just random um, then this scheme is unfair so you can imagine that uh, let's say Node out here that selects uh, 20 microseconds, but someone else selected 10, and the one that selected 10 will transmit before before uh, before the 20 microsecond guy. Uh, that guy still has uh, data to transmit. So over here, you might select a new random back off timer. Let's say it's 15, but someone else selects 8. So he's still not going to transmit, and so on. So it could be a long time before he transmits. So it would be more fair if um, if uh, if you ex if you if you get shut out of the channel over here, you sort of go to the front of the line over here, so you're not constantly being bumped to the back of the line. It's a better uh, if you send waiting stations to the front. So the solution there is that if a back off timer is interrupted, um, the node stops the clock. Keeps that <coughs> back off timer for the next contention window. So the maximum amount of time that you can wait before transmitting, not counting DIFS. Uh, is your original um, is your origin is the original value you selected for your contention timer? Furthermore, uh, this is something like a queue. So if you select twenty and uh, someone else selects eighteen or something, uh, you will you will sort of uh, uh, continue to uh, you'll continue to be in that order. So the eighteen will count down, the twenty will count down. If if you're interrupted. Those values are held. The the, the guy with eighteen will transmit first, and then you'll transmit later on. So, uh, we wait for like another two seconds after that. Yes. So we're not going to plus go plus DIFS. Okay. So the maximum wait time right. is not <coughs> counting. Channel busy and DIFS is the original. 
original backup timer. So for example, Let's say uh, channel is initially busy, and three stations need to transmit. Uh, while the channel is busy, the three uh, stations select back off timers. 15 microseconds, 20 microseconds, and 25 microseconds. So these are the backup time. So how will they, how will this resolve itself? this station 1, call this station 2, call this station 3. So the channel is initially busy. As soon as the channel is free, we wait DIFS. And then we begin our contention window. So. Uh, the three backup times we selected, 15, 20, and 25, who will transmit first? Number one, 15 microseconds will elapse. There's your contention window, 15 microseconds elapse. Once 15 microseconds elapse, uh, station one, uh, station one's backup timer Expired, and so station one starts to transmit. So that's station one. Okay, uh, station one stops transmitting. The channel's now idle. Let's say there's nobody new. There's nobody new um, uh, who needs to transmit. It's just uh, the, the two stations have had to before. At this point, we wait another DIFS, and at that instant, your question? DIFS is constant. DIFS is always constant. Yes. Uh, it, DIFS. I'm not telling you what it is because it's, there's a number of factors on which it depends, uh, including whether you're using frequency hopping or direct uh, direct sequence, and uh, a few other things. Um, okay, so at this point, station two has a back off timer equal to what? Five microseconds. And station three has what? Ten microseconds. So who transmits first? Two transmits first because five microseconds later, uh, station two's back off timer has expired. Well, if one has more stuff to transmit it overall, its withdrawal beats the far up and That's true. So if one suddenly came back, um, so I mean, uh, probably that probably one won't suddenly have something to transmit here within this interval because it's already it's it's already transmitted. Uh, so it can hold it for as much as that as it has to send. Um, unless it's got a truly ridiculous amount. Yeah. So. Um, I, I guess I guess if one was transferring a multi megabyte file, yeah, then it would have more to transmit here. But uh, let's assume that uh, this is the maximum amount that one needs to send, and then that's it. Um, okay, five microseconds elapsed, then two transmit.